Uh, hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the shift left and shift right instruction in the structured text. The shift left and shift right, which are known as SHL and SHR instructions, as you can see here in the code, are used to shift the content uh, of a byte or a word uh, towards right or towards left. Uh, given the number of bits that you want to have the shift. Uh, in this simple example, I have declared first of all here the variables that I need. So we have rotate L and rotate R. Uh, these are the Boolean variables that I have created to control the direction of the shift. And then here I have X, which is declared as a byte with the initial value of 23. So here X is the uh, the variable, the byte, in which I want to have shifting. Okay, you will see it when I run the code. Here I have declared n as the integer variable. It has the initial value of 1. It means that the amount of shift, the number of bits that will be shifted is equal to 1. So in each uh, execution of the SHL or SHR instruction, uh, using this n, I will control the number of bits to, to shift towards the left or towards the right. I also have declared the underlay timer here, the tone underline zero, in order to create the, the timing, let's say. As you can see here in the first line of the code, with the underlay timer zero, by specifying its input as the not of its output, I will create the square wave. And the preset time is, is set to one second, which means that I will have the passes of the uh, with the widths of one second, and I also have here another variable which is called out bit uh, as a byte, and with this I will uh, keep track of the of the bit uh, from the x variable which goes out, and then I will use it to to insert it into the x again and to have the rotation in terms of the shift. Uh, so let's go to the code. Here I have the undelay timer used to create the, the pulses, the timing. Then I have, I'm using the if structure. So if the timer is done, if the one second is reached, and if the rotate L is true, rotate L is a boolean variable, then I want to do this. The out bit that's zero. So here you can see that out, out bit is a, a byte, so it includes eight bits. And here I can access each one of the bits by putting that and then the number of the bit. So output that zero will be assigned from x dot seven. The last bit of x will be put inside the first bit of the output. Then here we have x uh, equal to SHL of x and n which means that the content of the x will be shifted towards left and the, the n which is 1 here determines the number of shifts, number of bits that we need to have the shift. So x will be given its value shifted towards left by 1 bit. And then here the uh, x dot 0, the first bit of the x will receive the value from out bit dot 0, it's the last bit of the x in the, be, before the shift. So in this way we will have a rotation uh, so we will get the x.7 and then next time we will put it at x.0. We will have this kind of rotation towards left. Uh, on the other hand if we have the timer done, if one second is passed and the rotate r is true then we will have uh, the first bit of x, x.0 stored in output that's zero and then x will receive the shr shift towards right of x and n again n is one and x uh, will be shifted towards right side this time but uh, the number of bits to shift is one and then the last bit of the x will receive the value from the output that zero which is originally x that's zero so in this case we will have a rotation but uh, kind of from uh, left towards right, or you can say that it's uh, counterclockwise in this case. In the visualization, I have inserted eight pilot lamps. 
And for each one of the pilot times, I have assigned a variable plc underline prg.x.0 to refer to the first bit of the variable x. Then for the second one, x.1, for the third one, x.2, and so on and so forth. For the last one, I have uh, plc underline prg.x.7, the last bit of the variable x. So this shows us actually the, the x byte in real time. And I have two switches here, one for the rotate left and another one for the rotate right. Okay, that's all in terms of the code and in terms of the visualization. Now let's see how will it work in the uh, runtime. Let's log in. And then I will run the code. Hope there is no errors. Okay, so this is the initial value that I have for the x, uh, which is uh, 23. Now, if I start changing the state of rotate rate from false to true, you will see that the shifting will be done towards left. Every one second. And here we have the circulation. And if I change the state of rotate left to back to the false, uh, the, the rotation or the shifting will be stopped. Maybe I can do it in this way as well. So you have, uh, you can see the what happens in the code as well here. And maybe I will send the the value of x to the. Uh, to my watch list, so you can see the value here as well. Uh, this is in terms of the it, in the in decimal, it's 92. Okay, I can switch the display mode to binary as well. So in binary, you will see the shifting. Maybe it will be exactly the same as what you see here with repeat the uh, pilot times. But in general, you can change the display type, display mode between binary, decimal, and hexadecimal. Sometimes binary is useful, sometimes decimal, and sometimes hexadecimal. Now, if I uh, change the state of rotate right, you can see that the rotation or shifting is performed from left to right in this case. So these three are moving towards right, and we have the shifting. Uh, all right, so this is how you can use the shift right and shift left, left in the structure text. Uh, the format that we need to use is to determine the variable that you want to shift and then the, the number of the bits that you uh, need to shift. So here, as an example, I can change the value of n to, uh, to 2. Uh, okay, let me switch back to decimal mode. So here, with 2, pressing F7 and Alt F7, I will have 2 for the N. And now, if I do shifting towards right, each second we will have uh, yeah, 2 bits shifting. But this time, since uh, now we have all 0 for the for the x, I think you you know why this happens. If if not, I can explain it later, maybe. So just keep in mind that we are taking the last bit and putting it uh, as the first bit of the variable. All right, that that's all uh, for shifting the variables for using SHL and SHR uh, instructions in the structure text. I think this would help you in understanding how to use those instructions. Those instructions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to share the video if you think that it would be useful for someone else to watch as well. Thanks you for, thank you for watching and see you next time.